Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, we're going to continue with our admin commands by adding two teleport commands. One of them is going to be a go to command where I can teleport the admin to another player. And the other one is going to be the opposite. I can take any player in the game and bring them to me. So let me go and show you the first one. So it's going to be slash go to. And then I'm going to be teleporting to player two, which is in the background over here. So I can put their name, which is player two. And then when I press enter, I get teleported to player two. And then let's go ahead and separate again. And this time, instead of me going to the player, I can bring the player to me. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to say slash find. And then the player's name, which is the same, player two. And this time, the player will come to me. And there we go. So I stayed in the same spot, and player two got teleported to me. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. All right, to get started, we're going to open up the admin script that should be inside the server script service. And then at the top, we're going to be adding our new command to the actions list. So to do that, we're just going to put a comma. We'll put our quotation marks and then our command. So it's going to be slash and then go to. Okay, so now we can start working on our function. So I'm going to put this function right below the one we did last time. So that was the trail function. So here, what I'm going to say is local function. The name of this function is going to be go to. Inside the parentheses, we're going to give it the admin and also the player we want to go to. Inside the function, we're going to say admin dot character dot humanoid root part dot C frame. And this is going to be equal to the player C frame. So we're going to do player dot character dot humanoid root part and then dot C frame. Okay, so let's go ahead and add it to our main function. And what I noticed while I was testing this out is we have a player here, which we're getting from the local script. And we also redefine that player right here. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to give this player a new name. So this player is the player that triggers the remote event. So this is the admin. So I thought it would make sense to change this one to admin. This one over here is different. This is the person that we're going to be targeting with our command. All right, so now that we made that change, we also need to make the change down here as well. So we're going to update this player to admin. Okay, so now that we made that small change, we can go ahead and add our else statement here. So we're going to say else if action is equal to. And then here we're going to put our command. So it's going to be slash and go to. Then what we're going to do is run our go to function. So we'll say go to. And we're going to give it the admin and also the player. So just like I mentioned before, this is the admin. This is the person doing the command. And this is the player that we're going to be targeting and the player we're going to go to. All right, and that should do it. So let's go ahead and test it out and make sure it works. Okay, so on this local server, player one is the admin. And then player two is just a player. So I'm going to go ahead and move player two away. Just get him in a new location. And that looks pretty good there. And then for player one, I'm going to go ahead and use the command. So we're going to do slash go to. And then the player I want to teleport to is going to be player two. So I'll put the player's name. And then when I press enter, I get teleported to player two. All right, so let's see how we can do it the other way now and bring player two to the admin. Okay, so back on the admin script, we're going to start in our actions list. We're going to put a comma and then the name of our other command. And you can call this whatever you want to, as long as you keep it consistent throughout the script. So I'm going to use slash and then find. And then down here, we'll go ahead and write the function. So I'm going to put it right below the go to function. And since it's basically just going to be a reverse of this one, let's just go ahead and copy and paste it. Here, we'll change the name to find. And then here, instead of teleporting the admin to the player, we're going to do the opposite. So I'll just copy this one, and then we'll paste it on this side of the equal sign. And then we'll take the other one and bring it over here. Okay, so now it should be the player.character.humanoid.cframe, 
is equal to the admin C frame. Okay, we'll go ahead and add it to our main function. And then we'll change go to to find. And then here we'll change it to find as well. All right, so that should do it. So let's go ahead and test it out. Okay, like before, I'm going to start by moving player two away. This time, for whatever reason, it's on the left side of the screen. All right, so there's player two in the background. So I'm going to enter the command for player one. So we're going to say slash find. And then the player's name that I want to be teleported to me is going to be player two. And then when I press enter, the player gets teleported right to me. All right, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.